Welcome to this episode of the Pride Month Marathon. So before you get, before we get started, um, I'm going to explain a little bit about what we're doing here because this obviously looks a little bit different. Um, I've been wanting to do, I guess you'd call them playthroughs or less plays of video games. I've done some Minecraft before, but I've always wanted to try other games. So I figured for Pride Month we do Caper in the Castro, which was a quote charity wear game. Um, made in the late 90s you can see it says 1999 underneath that dot by cm ralph um it is a gay and lesbian based adventure mystery game with sound text and graphics so we're gonna click anywhere to go on all right this is gonna take a minute so this is as far as we know the first um lbgt game computer game ever made um so it's pretty special um i cannot mat like enlarge the screen. I cannot enlarge the screen, sorry. I forget that forgot that was gonna happen. Um it was originally in a, a Macintosh game as you can see. Um but if I try and maximize the screen it just kinda goes black. I've been fiddling with this for a couple hours. So let's see if I can get this emulator to work. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um <laughs> so why is the mouse not moving? Okay, there we go. Alright, the first thing we have to do is turn on the sound. Because right now there's no sound. So we're going to do that. And that I learned from f just fiddling with this. So it's at zero now. We're going to put it up at seven. We're going to put it at seven. Sorry. I'm going to close this. Now, I'm just going to say, I have no idea, like, I don't even have a Mac. I've barely used one at all in my life, so I feel like that makes this more difficult. Not that modern Macs are exactly like this, but there we go. Didn't click on it the first time. Alright, so we're going to try playing this game. I'm not sure if we're going to get through the whole thing this episode. I don't really know how long this is going to take. So, we're gonna just at least get started. Alright. Why don't we click About Game? Caper in the Castro is written and illustrated by Kathleen M. Ralph. Copyright 1989. All rights reserved for Danny. Through the example of your life, I have learned that it's not important to love what you do, but rather do what you love. My special thanks to Kathy, whose love, support, and computer game playing expertise guided me through this creation. Thank you also goes to the following. David for the use of his wonderful sounds, the Icon Factory from Hyperpress Publishing Corporation which enabled me to create and install Caper, the Caper in the Castro Icon. Important. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, so one thing she did say about this game was if you played it, the reason it was a charity wear game was because she asked that you donate to a, um, a charity that helps with, um, you know, creating, yeah, right here, charity of your choice, uh, an AIDS related charity of your choice, man. All right. Click anywhere to get back to the game. All right. So I haven't played this before. I haven't gotten past um, the game help and tutorial. Just, you know. Alright, so we're going to try playing the game. The game room. Alright, so we're going to try this. I have never played a text-based adventure game before. Sorry, it's too dark to see anything from here. The door is locked, it would appear. Everyone's gone home for the evening. Okay. Let's try maybe unlocking. Pick the door lock? We can try it. Oh boy. It's the odor of the bar. He appears to be out colder than a mackerel. <laughs> By the looks of things, I'd say he's been taste testing his own products. Um, what's this? It's a letter addressed to the game room, attention owner. It's an empty bottle of old Stonewall Scotch, 90 proof. Um, I'm 
table. Oh my gosh. It would help if I could type. Am I? Okay, I'm hitting the B key to make that go, but no more clues here. Um, I don't know what that is. Yep, it's just the same thing. Okay, alright, I guess we'll leave. Let's see if that does anything. You peer through the windows but only see dark shadows of tables and chairs. Yeah, well we already picked the lock, so. The day is done and the darkness falls from the wings of night as a feather is wafted downward from an eagle in his flight. Okay, that's by Longfellow. The day is done. It makes me think of the song we used to sing in Girl Scouts. This used to be the Gay Apparel Clothing Store. It burned down last week under mysterious circumstances. The proprietor, Mr. Nawi Don R., was killed by smoke inhalation. He lived in the apartment upstairs. Door. I keep hitting the wrong keys. Further examination reveals nothing. Oh, wait, we already looked at that. I guess we'll go back. I'm honestly, I'm surprised how well this is working. Like you guys have no long, no long, no idea how long it took me to work to figure out how to get this to work. Inside you can see a desk and a filing cabinet. The room looks unoccupied. Should we pick the lock? I know scanned a computer is no longer activated. I know that. What door? What do you want to open? Door. The pick jammed. Think of something else. I'm thinking! In the shadows behind the curtains, you notice something moving. Dun dun dun! Okay, the N is a B. Wonder if the B is an N. No, B is a V. What's a V? A C. That's odd. Oh. Were the Mac. Did the Mac keyboards used to be different than than the modern keyboards. It's too dark to really see anything. Yeah, so it's all the same. Alright, well let's keep I mean we could shoot it. Prefer not to though. Red Herring Cafe. That's not a suspicious name at all. They're open this late at night. Uh, let's do sign. Okay, so. Okay. Let's see. This guy seems happy. The food here must be very good. Yeah, I'm sure that's why he's happy. It's not that he's on a date. Hmm, a glass of ice cold water sure would hit the spot about now. Honestly, ain't that the truth? It is so hot in my house right now. We don't have any air conditioning. Okay. Clearly from a different era. Not going to read that out loud. Would you like to be seated? Yes, why not? I know that's a word that's been reclaimed, but I just don't feel comfortable. Let's examine this vase. It doesn't really look like a vase. Case. Let's just click on it. Plastic flower, ugliosis, cheapiosis, for you botanical types. This can be had at Jmart for, Jmart, ha, huh, for one forty nine. The blue light special. Let's look at the menu. Red herring soup, two ninety five. Red herring sandwich, three seventy nine. Pickled red herring, sweet and sour red herring, or today's special red herring and banana sauce. That sounds awful. What do you want to say? How about we try a waiter? Nobody can hear you. That's terrifying. Table. Tavle. Further examination reveals nothing. Done. What do you want to say? How about we just say, hello. 
Nobody can hear you. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go this way. Oh boy. You hear gunfire and feel two bullets whizzing just over your head. Tough neighborhood. You're too far away to be able to see anything clearly. Let's try trash cans. Hey, it worked! Two garbage cans filled with extremely smelly refuse. It's a back door. Really? What's on, is there anything on the ground? I clicked on look. The glass. It looks like glass. Ground. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep doing that, aren't I? Okay, let's not break in. How about back? No, uh, mm, whatever. I wonder if the space bar is the enter. Uh, wall. There we go. You're too far away to see anything clearly. Back. How about just door? Yeah, that. it's a back door. Really? I'm sorry, I keep putting my hand on my face. Door. We might end up going to jail for this. Let's look at our notes. Let's see here. Notepad. How about close store burnt down. I don't know what's up with this keyboard. I'm thinking we might need to figure out what the keys all mean if we're gonna do any of this. Alright, done looking. Let's try going this way one more time. Club 102. And I think I froze it. Yes, you. I don't wanna... I'm so impatient. Let's try... Oh, I think it's frozen. Oh boy. How about sign? Do you know by now? Don't you know by now the door is locked? Huh? You peer through the window but can only make out some vague shadows and a light coming from the back room. Something suspicious is going on here, boys. Okay, there we go. Door is locked. His spin ooh, that's that's sketchy. Alright, let's keep going. That's where we started. We're gonna go back this way. Ah, we're in a car. Is it a ghost car? This is the gear shift. They know we gays can't drive. Ooh, what's this? It's a well used map of the city. The polis. It's a Kolmanawanalaya XL 35mm camera with a telescopic zoom lens, automatic focus, built in light meter, auto wind with a built in clock calendar. However, there's no film in it sounds fancy. Closed glove, glove compartment. In the ashtray you can find 37, oh I thought I was going to say 35 cigarette buds. 37 cents, a torn ticket stub, and one very cheap earring. Let's try ticket. I don't know if it knows what's going on or it's the clutch pedal. So this is, I couldn't drive this car anyways. It's standard. Did they have automatic cars in the 80s? I don't know. I don't know enough about cars. You catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror. You look as tired as you feel. You better find Tessie soon before your own exhaustion causes you to make a stupid mistake or worse. Fatal. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so Tessie, I believe, is a 
drag queen you're looking for, I think. Ooh, what happened here? The red liquid on this bumper is not cherry soda, and it appears to be very fresh. No, duh. I didn't play this game for the soft drinks. I wonder if you can open the trunk. Trunk is locked. Yeah, I figured. If you want to pick open the trunk, yes. It does not work on this type of lock. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Let's say bumper. Let's see if I can find the B. There's the C. The C's the V. The B's the V. The There we go! I bet the N's. Nope. The N's the B. Bumper. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Just how about trunk? Uh oh, that's not how you spell trunk. Ignore me. All right, that's it. Why is there no license plate? Is it on the front? Maybe we just can't see it. What's that thing? Yep, this is Tessie's car, all right. Okay, so this is her car. A genuine classic 57. <laughs> not gonna say that word either. Not to be compute, not to be confused with the Tucker. They only made one. This being the prototype, it was apparently called the Mother. Oh, fun. So there's nothing on her tires, I guess. Let's do wall. Alright, let's see here. Wonder if I know it's locked. You'd think I'd be able to go in. Who do you want to talk to? Owner. He mumbles E equals O and then passes out. Nice breath. Let's write that down. E equals zero. Okay. Let's see if he'll say anything else. Getting the hang of this keyboard. He mumbles E equals zero. You know this place only too well already. It, what? Oh boy. All right. Well, there's our first. Video. Room looks unoccupied. Door is locked. Clearly. How about door? We can try opening the window next. We might be able to open the window. Pick is jammed. Think of something else. I'm thinking. Window. There we go. Oh my gosh. Don't be silly. Why is that silly? I thought that was pretty smart. I want to go back to that club. Okay. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm totally just being boring and rambling. Not even rambling, just walking back and forth. Sign. How about let... Nope. Nobody can hear you. Alone again. Use the lighter on what? The door. Oh boy. Yeah. 
Let's try. Cause it looks like there's something on the ground. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Nope. Door is locked. Oh, we get to look at the trash. I equals E. Hey, what are you? A bag lady or a detective? I'm a detective. That's why I look at everything. I'm Batman lady. I equals E since I haven't figured out how to put spaces in yet. Let's try... Nope. Nope. Oh, that's how you do an M. Huh. Nope. Boy, oh boy. Alright, we'll just leave it like that for now. Or no, why don't we... Oh, it's not going to go down. Alright, well there's our notepad. We found another clue. I equals E and zero equals I. Or whatever. Door is locked. Let's try... Set the garbage on fire. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh! It's a book entitled The Storage, Treatment, and Safe Disposal of Biomedical Waste Products. Oh boy. Trash. Tarsh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Ew. Never mind. Well, I'm nosy. Let's try it again. Let's see if we reveal anything else. Kind of doubt it, but it's worth it. Hopefully y'all can still hear me. Let's try women. Women. There we go. Now here is a solemn face. He's picking up the tab. Just just split it. <laughs> hmm, my glass of ice cold water sure would hit the spot. I wonder if I wonder if you can buy food. We didn't try that last time. <laughs> That was weird. The wait waiter smiles at your request. I'm sorry, we've just run out of that. How about trying today's special? Well, I have a feeling that's the only thing we're gonna be able to order, but let's try each one. I wonder if that's the, supposed to be like the X-Files music. Probably not, this is probably, I don't know. My pop culture timeline's all messed up, ignore me. I'm so sorry. The waitress smiles politely. This isn't my table. Be nice to your servers, y'all. Hi, hun. The waitress coyly chirps. How do you coyly chirp? Because coyly is like all... Now it sounds like I'm saying coyly, like you coil a rope. But coil, coyly is like smooth and suave. And chirp is like all chipper. And so like, hi, hun, as opposed to hi, hun. <laughs> all right. The waiter beams his brightest smile your way as he rushes past you. I'll be right with you. Story of my life. All right, let's try this. That was a terrifying noise, but I mean, that's pretty much my opinion of fish and bananas. Although I have had... No, I take that back. I have had fish and bananas. It was... Pretty good, actually. It wasn't in this way, but it was it was pretty good. It was like a seafood salad with banana pieces in it, I think. I think. I could be completely wrong. Yummy Hudson water. Domestic mineral water. Oh, boy. The spoon looks like a reject from a telekinetic spoon bending experiment. It was made in Utica, New York. 
Thing is, the spoon was never there. Nice knife. The handle appears to be sharper than the blade. Oh boy, can't kill anybody with that. One of the prongs is bent. The rest are dirty. Now you know why the dish ran away with the spoon. The fish has a funny glint in its eye, almost as if it has something important to say to you. Very strange indeed. What do you wish to examine? Fish. All right, let's click on the bananas. Hmm, what a treat. Fresh bananas sauteed in red herring broth until they turn a golden brown. That still sounds gross. Okay. I wonder if you can light your food on fire. I'm, I'm going to be that person, aren't I, trying to light everything on fire. Fish. Oh, it worked! <laughs> and I'm never allowed back in the diner. Waiter across the room, upon witnessing your act of pyromania, promptly grabs you by the cap, grabs you by the collar, and throws you out of the cafe. I wouldn't. Did you did. laugh? Did I laugh? No. Let's see if I can figure out how to make an N. Nobody can hear you. He's standing right there. Hey, hey, hey! He hollers after you. And don't you ever set foot in my establishment again, you... F oh. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, okay, okay. That did nothing for our quest. Further examination reveals nothing. Boy. I could light the bank on fire. Oh, I wonder if I can go in. Let's try it. So far, so good. I don't know why we need to have a scream like that. Let's click on the map, and I guess. You must be outside to use your map. Okay. Your words go unheard. Fish. Wonder if they're just ignoring me because I tried to burn the store down. Yeah. All right, I think we've done everything we can in here. I'm sure there's something I'm missing, but let's go outside and try the map. All right, let's let's try the clothing store. So we haven't really done anything there. Whoa. Sidewalk. Let's try this. Let's just try door. It doesn't seem to work. Yeah. Tell us anything else. Uh, that looks like a body. Like, let's try just looking at wind. Or let's try it with this. Windows. Sorry, it's too dark to see. <sighs> hmm. 
let's just, uh, there we go. Door is locked. Where did that? I don't know. Done with trash. Open. Opeb. Nobody can hear you. So sad. Let's try it. You set off the alarm. Oh boy. You're arrested for attempted bank robbery and go to jail. By the time you make bail, it is too late. Better luck next time. Critical error. Oh, boy. That might be the end of it for today. Yep, that's it. All right. I think that's a good stopping point um, for now. We can keep playing another time, and we'll figure it out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching me. I'm sorry I kind of bumbled around in the dark, but I hope you enjoyed this little bit of the first ever um, gay and lesbian game. So thank you. Bye.